In this video, I want to show how you can integrate Experience Manager, which is on the left-hand side, with Slack, the collaboration platform, on the right-hand side. And for those of you who are familiar with Experience Manager, know that we have the concept of projects, and within projects we can have task and workflow. So if I create a new task here, and let's say we want some copy written for a campaign, and we go to assign that task now. So let's Sign it to Kelly. Normally we can just do an email integration here um, for people who are not logged into Experience Manager at that particular time. But I've already wired up to have um, Slack integration as well. So let's have a look and see how that works. Um, so as soon as I hit the Create button, um, you can see on the right hand side that we have a new um, direct message to the logged in person, which is Kelly Creative. And if Kelly looks at that, um, you can see that there's a new task received, write some copy for a campaign, and if, if Kelly clicks here, um, she'll get to log into Experience Manager um, where you can actually go ahead and see um, that particular task. So it's the first type of collaboration. Basically, we're looking for the task event and um, and then going ahead and putting that into the, um, into the Slack API. All right, if I look at some other content, so let's maybe go into the um, some of the assets here. And if we look at one of these um, particular assets, let's just um, hop into one of these directories. And maybe we're looking at this particular image here. Now, if we bring up the annotation option, um, this is where I can normally write comments and say, um, let's use this creative. But I can also tag people, so I can um, put in the um, the at symbol and then look for people. So again, I can see Kelly. I can tag Kelly. And again, if I was to um, hit return on this comment, um, Kelly gets a notification. Again, in Slack, you can see there's now one direct message. Um, and you can see in the comments, Mark mentioned the comments, let's use this creative. Um, so that's going ahead and, and using that there. So um, great work here. This is actually uh, this connection was actually built by Justin Ellison, the Adobe Evangelist, as a, a proof of concept. And um, let me walk you through now how to actually get this up and running. So first of all, this is Justin's um, GitHub page. So all the code is open. You can go ahead and download it. Um, the URL for the project is here. Um, before you go ahead and install. Um, this project you need to have a prerequisite which is the um, ACS AM Commons, the Adobe Consulting Team um, puts together some great utilities and enhancements for Experience Manager so just go and have a look at that anyway um, and then go ahead and, and grab the, the Slack integration um, here. Now as far as configuration if I go into the web console for Experience Manager and uh, once everything's installed look for the Slack integration options. You can see here first of all you need an incoming webhook URL so um, that's the the example one that I've got here and probably want to use your own otherwise you're just going to send stuff to my demo account which doesn't really phase me but um, you can do that. And then I've got a mapping here between the AEM username and the Slack username so um, I'm only using two accounts here, so if, you, if you've got one-to-one -one naming conventions, fine, then you shouldn't have to do the mapping. Um, but what this takes care of is any differences between the two accounts. So um, this is a great example of, of how Experience Manager can be extended out. Um, great work, Justin. Thanks for that. And i um, like to see and hear back if anyone's configured this and using it and if you've extended it. 